Dardanelle is one of the oldest cities in Arkansas, and downtown Dardanelle is very historical. Front Street is being slowly revitalized and is once again becoming a bustling place with restaurants such as Savannah's, Front Street Grill, and Tarasco's. Front Street is also home to many businesses such as Riverside Salon, Hobby Shop Deluxe, and Malin's. The Dardanelle Post-Dispatch, located on Front Street, is the oldest weekly newspaper in Arkansas. The Rivertown Bank and the Dardanelle Post Office, constructed in 1833, are also located on Front Street. Dardanelle is home to the copious amount of churches. The first Baptist Church of Dardanelle began meeting in 1848. The current church building was constructed in 1964, and since then they have added many other buildings to serve as a The Dardanelle United Methodist Church began in the year of 1851 and is still in service today. The current church building underwent construction in October of 1917 was dedicated on September 1st, 1918. The First Presbyterian Church was organized on April 9, 1843. The church building was built in 1850. In the Civil War era, the church was destroyed by federal troops. The current church was rebuilt in 1913 and was dedicated on May 10, 1914. The Dardanelle Courthouse was built for less than $25,000 in 1914. It was built on a military road that is now known as Union Street. Before the courthouse was remodeled in 1973, the courtroom had a magnificent view of the Arkansas River. A new county jail was added to the back of the courthouse in 1976. The courthouse was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 1992. A new court annex was added in 2007 and it now holds the courtroom, the sheriff's department, and the county clerk offices. Greeley Cemetery was constructed in 1852. In 1899, an iron fence was added around the perimeter of the cemetery, followed by a rock wall in 1929. The gazebo was painted and had a new roof put on in May of 1932. The cemetery was placed on the National Register of Historical Places by the U.S. Department of the Interior on August 1, 2007. The upkeep of the cemetery is done by the City of Dardanelle and the Cemetery Association, making this a beautiful final resting place. The Treaty of Council Oaks was signed on June 24, 1823, on what is now Front Street beneath two oak trees. Under orders of President James Monroe, a meeting was organized to determine boundaries. As a result of the treaty, the Cherokees gave up all of their land in Arkansas south of the Arkansas River. One of the two trees was destroyed in the early 1990s by a storm, but the other is still standing tall. The site is now a city park.
dam was completed in 1969 and is the 10th dam on the McClellan Kerr Arkansas River Navigation System. Some of the benefits of the dam are the increase in flood control, hydropower, navigation, wildlife conservation, water supply, and recreation, and of course, the creation of the beautiful Lake Dardanelle. The maximum lift height of the lock is 54 feet and it is operated 24 hours a day. There's a romantic legend of Dardanelle Rock that relates to the story of a Cherokee Indian chief named Dardanelle who was wounded in a fierce battle with the Choctaws and while recuperating fell in love with the beautiful maiden named Leonetta. They made a pact. He was to stand on Dardanelle Rock at sunset and she would wave her mantle to him as a sign that she would run away with him and become his bride. He waited on the rock for many hours, but for some reason she failed to make an appearance. He flung himself into the turbulent stream of the Arkansas River below. Thus, Dardanelle Rock was named after him. opened in the late 1990s on the west side of town. It is a large state-of-the-art park featuring outstanding baseball facilities, a playground, soccer fields, basketball courts, and a walking and jogging trail. The adjacent Dardanelle Community Center later opened and now provides multiple services for the community.